Hello everyone, Crips here and thanks for joining me. So Windows 8, is it something you want to upgrade to yes or no? So uh, before you do, have a look at this. I'm going to show you how Windows 8 operates and uh, we'll give you a better understanding and a better idea of what choice you want to make. So let's get moving. So after you've installed it, you're going to land on this page. Microsoft calls this the Metro page. I call it the landing page because that's where I land on when I first start, right? All right, so what do we got here? Now we've got all the applications here, uh, the ones that I want to use. You can change it, you can remove it, and I'll show you how all that works. Now, if I want to access all the software on my computer, very simple, anywhere on the screen here, right click, a ribbon opens up, and I will click this little button here called All Apps. Look at that, and now they're all here, neatly categorized, and I can do whatever I want with these launch my applications from here or I can uh, make it easier and bring these to the start the the landing page so let's do something like that and I'm gonna bring this application here or this software here to the landing page because it's something I use uh, quite often so right click and it gives me another ribbon and it gives me choices I can uninstall it directly from here I don't need to go control panel add and remove I can do that from here and uh, I can bring it to the start page so pin to start all right, now to go back to the start menu, uh, as you can see, it's completely clear. There's no cross, there's nothing. Very simple. Move your cursor to the bottom left-hand corner. You'll see a little window open up. Click once, and you're back. And that's kind of cool, right? And let's have a look. So there's my application here, and I can move this anywhere I want simply by clicking and dragging. Uh, I can resize any of these if I want. Let's uh, resize this, so right click on it once, the ribbon opens up again, and I have an option to make this one larger, so there you go. And then I can move that as well. So it's very customable, I can do anything I want with it. Now I'm scrolling left and right using my mouse wheel, and I can just also move my cursor to the screen, and it will move as well. But uh, the, the uh, mouse wheel makes it really nice and smooth, isn't that cool? Now. Uh, if I move my cursor again to the bottom, that little panel opens up. If I right click, I get a menu open up and I can access my control panel, my task manager from here. So let's go to control panel. There you go. Very quick, very simple. And let's close that again. So this is my desktop. This is what my desktop used to look like before I installed Windows 8. And it's still there. Nothing's moved. So when I did the install, I didn't lose any of the applications or all my software. It didn't remove anything. It just basically replaced Windows 7s with Windows 8 operating system. Now I'm going to go back out and I'm back to the Metro page. Now, uh, desktop is still running in the background. I've got a few applications open up in the background. So how do I know which ones are running in the background? Well, very simple. By using my mouse once again, I'm going to go to the top left-hand corner and I'll see a little icon again or a little window. And if I left-click, it'll cycle through what is open. Now, also, I can just do absolutely nothing but just take my mouse down slightly and it shows me uh, quickly all the applications that are open as well. Now I don't right click, I don't left click, all I do is just move my mouse down and it opens up. So I can then, what I can do, I can split the screen by just dragging one of them and now look, I have two screens, I can make it any size I want, I can make it three screens if I want and if I don't want any of that, uh, just right across. Now, how do I close this application? There's no X here. Well, on Control F, uh, F4 does this trick, just like any other software with uh, Windows 7, <laughs> Vista, XP, they all did the same. Or I just move my cursor to the top, turns into a hand, right click, sorry, left click, and then just drag it all the way to the bottom, release, and that's closed. And let's see, anything else is open? That one's open, fine. And that's closed, and now, the desktop is still open. I'm going to leave that one open because I'm going to go back to it in a minute anyway. So very, very simple to get around. If I now move my cursor to the right top hand screen, uh, another menu pops up. And I have options of search, share, start, device, and settings. So if I'm looking for something specific, just like uh, Windows 7 and start menu, I can search the applications. Uh, and I don't want to do that. Uh, go back in here and I'll show you settings gives me the options of working with uh, my, my uh, settings on the brightness of screen sound and my internet connections but I want to go to this one here called uh, change PC, uh, PC settings 
and I can personalize it and I can do general devices wireless and I've got more access here as well now I couldn't show you this in the beginning because uh, it's in order for me to record the screen I gotta first launch my uh, computer but technically when I first start my computer I, I get greeted by this window and then I just click once and then it immediately takes me to that page the uh, the Metro page which is the one here see that's kinda cool so as you can see, navigating around this is quite easy. It doesn't take a lot uh, to learn. It's just, it's hidden, and that's the thing with it. It's just hidden, and it's all in the corners. Everything's in the corners, which is kind of, is it weird? Oh, I'm not too sure, but for me, I like it. It's very smooth, and it's very quick. Uh, everything is custom. You can customize anything to suit your needs. Everything that you have installed on your uh, Windows 7, when you upgrade to Windows 8 is still there. Uh, I only had to remove one item which was my finger scanner on my Lenovo ThinkPad. Other than that uh, it didn't have any issues with upgrading it to Windows 8. So I hope this will give you a better understanding how Windows 8s operate and as always thanks for watching.